Alright, so I did it. We're finally we're gonna make a YouTube channel. You're gonna get it. Dozens of my clients calling me asking me about system. There's minor problems, powerful switches, you know, just the simple stuff. And I figured if I make a YouTube channel slash vlog, you know, kind of help out my uh, my mechanics out on the field or not, you know, my clients, uh, they can just check out this link real quick and just see what they got going on with the unit. So what we have here in front of us, this is a 1230ES. Let me pick this up real quick. Can y'all see this? Perfect. Let me change this angle. So what we have here is a 1230 ES. And now, later in the videos, I might get into depth as far as what the units, what the numbers on the work, and uh, JLG, Genie, that's JLG right there. Uh, but for now, if you ever run into any problems with a JLG, Genie, anything, it doesn't drive in the air really, you get a little cold. Now what we have here with JLG is, this units are kind of advanced, so they do has something called an analyzer and this analyzer will pretty much save your life so what this analyzer does is it pretty much just tells you what's wrong with the unit so see here we got a 256 code which means let me see if I can read drive prevented pothole not engaged so now what that means is this unit has two pothole switches it has one on each side which one pothole switch is right there and we call that a pothole switch and I say that now because when you pick the unit up these pothole guards come down this bubble is right here and there goes your other limit switch so pretty much what they do is they send a signal to the machine they're like hey this unit is up in the air we need to drive slow and now if something is clogged up down there so on this side I don't know if you'd be able to hear it but this bar here the way this works is as you come down let me bring this analyzer out <clears throat> put it down to my bottom control bar as you come down with the unit, it hits the bars, bring, brings the bar in. Now what plays is the switch here, what happens is it triggers and it's, hey, I'm back on the ground, you know, let's go ahead and drive regular speed. So a lot of problems, the causes to this issue is either you get debris, you know, drywallers, they'll get stuck in between there. And there's a little limit switch and I don't know if you can hear it, I'm gonna see. So that's me clicking and they're both supposed to click. Sometimes they do get stuck, whether it's up or on the bottom and they don't come out. Or sometimes you do have your wires here that will come out the pins. This right here. Or sometimes they just may be loose. Per se, to make this example, this is what I do with this one. So you wanna click that, you wanna make sure there's no debris down there, all your pins under is hooked up, and you wanna make sure this is at a right angle, all right? So you can't move these around. But other than that, I mean, all right, fellas, one more thing I forgot to mention is on those pothole switches slash limit switches, they also have a screw in here. And now when you take that cover off, there'll be two wires that go into it. Obviously, there's no wires in here because there's nothing leading up to it. But those two wires <clears throat> will be a brown and a red wire. So pretty much those wires, over time, they get to build up water, moisture, and they do get corroded in there. So what you do want to check out is you want to make sure and double check that every time you go to open up that there's no water that comes out of those cables on corroded. Uh, other than that, this one might look a little different only because it's a Genie pothole switch. So there are different ones. The JLG pothole switches are just a straight shot with the switch that just closes in, out, in, out. This one goes side to side. That's just the way the pothole guards are designed on Genie and JLG. Um, if you ever run into this issue, that's all you have to figure out. So let's check out this unit here. Put it back up to the top control bar. This is your G-Con and we got our P-Con right here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to lift this unit up. <clears throat> My pothole guards came down. There we go. We're going up. Now this unit here. So if we put that back on, check everything. All my clothes, coats should be clear. Ground mode okay. Everything's looking good. Power cycle, everything's looking as it should. That was the last code, dry perennial, which is on the log. Now also what you want to do is Anytime you want to get in here to mess with these diagnostics, here's a calibration on them. There is an access level that's going to ask, which is this one. What you want to do is click on it. And the code to this is 33271. I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to say that. And I say, for the, I say that because all that, those numbers really are. There you go, access level one. So all those numbers really are. Switch this back up. So all those numbers really are 
is the headquarters of JLG, which is Pennsylvania McCallisburg or some sort. And it's the zip code, red backwards. I guess that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, fellas, if y'all ever have any issues, y'all run into any of this out on the field, which I want to make sure is y'all want to look to those pothole switches. Those are like 80% of my problems. And another major issue are also going to be these batteries. These batteries need to be maintenance. Lack of maintenance, low performance. So with all that said, uh, I hope I can help a couple of independent contractors out there. You know, people that are on the list, people that uh, are illiterate when it comes to uh, the center list. Which, I mean, it's a big industry, it's a billion dollar industry, so there is definitely money to be made here. Um, help out any future techs that want to join this uh, industry. So, those are minor tips. I am planning on putting more, I guess, preventable maintenance or just minor stuff that we could really work on that'll get these units from having so many issues. And, you know, just go over any minor diagnostics that we can here on the analyzer with Genie, JLGs, Skyjacks, Max, and now when I'm name drop like that, all I'm, those are these are all just manufacturers. So all these are pretty much, you know, you got your JLG over there, you got your Skyjack, and then there's a Genie right there, and those are telehandlers. But there comes scissor lifts in all different sizes, which we'll see here later on in the channel. Uh, but yeah, y'all have any questions, y'all want to go ahead and subscribe, like, and leave a comment because there will be more videos and there is going to be a lot of informational stuff that y'all are going to want to know. Uh, y'all have any questions, you know, leave it down at the, at the comment. Let me know y'all have any problems struggling with any units or something I can help y'all out with. I'll be more than happy to do that. Uh, other than that, like I said, 2-5 code, you got your analyzer. Very, very helpful. Everything on here should be good now. We should have drive back in the air. So if I put this top... See, I gotta understand these units here, they're my babies. So what we wanna do is, so we'll go up. See, we got forward, backwards. We'll switch the switch here to go up and down. Go back down. Now my pothole guards, damn, God. Now this unit should go much faster. There you go, back to specs. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much sum up a quick a quick familiar, familiarization here with the units. Uh, what I do plan on doing is here in the future, hopefully I can, uh, you know, go over every scissor lift, Genie, Skyjack, like I said, JLG, Max, put them back to back. They all work the same. They all got pothole switches, limit switches, tilt sensor and whatnot. And uh, I'd like to pretty much just put them up in the air, go over them with y'all uh, and try to make an informational video. Cause everything that I, every time I try to Google something, all it takes me is to Sephora. A messed up foreign that at the end of the day, I wasted 30 minutes reading and even tell me my problem. So if I could do some hands-on, you know, vlog a little bit about my day, what I do out in the field, uh, what I help my clients out with. Every time they call, they have a problem with the scissor lift, something minor. That's what we're going to do and that's what we're going to get done. So like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and we will be having a lot more content.